Dreams become stars. About the attack on America, September 11, the day my son died and went to heaven, we'd read our Bible, had prayer. I was cooking, Pop was in his chair. The TV was on and the news came. First tower was hit by a plane. Minutes later, the second tower was in flame. What's going on? and who to blame. A hush filled our room, and we'll never forget seeing the news the Pentagon was hit. For you see, my son Jerry was there that day, and there's several things that I'd like to say. On this day, as I speak to mothers, to fathers, sisters, brothers, and many others, on September 11, my heart broke and was torn as I remembered the day that he was born. All you parents remember that joy of a precious girl or a bouncing boy. We remember everything from head to toes. But how many of us ever thought of wars and woes? Probably you were making plans like me for what that baby would be. Then as he grew cooing, cutting teeth, walking, Next we came to the age of talking, those tiny, tiny arms wrapped around you and his precious words of I love you. Jerry did all the things we wanted him to, probably some things we said he shouldn't do, but the most important decision he made was when his heart to God he gave. I just knew he'd be a general, that was my plan. With stars on his shoulder, my boy was a man. But God had his plans, so I wear a smile instead of a frown, for I know in place of stars on his shoulder, there are stars in his crown.